On August 11th, Carl Stevens Jr. showed up to Bandemir Speedway in Morrison, Colorado, ready to race in the Drag Illustrated World Series of Pro Mod, a quarter mile drag race with $100,000 on the line, making it the biggest and richest Pro Mod drag race in history. One run at a time, Stevens put together a better and faster run than the last, eventually beating Danny Rowe in the final, taking home the six-figure payday and a custom World Series of Pro Mod championship belt. Now Stevens can obviously drive like a champion, but he also builds championship caliber engines like this Chrysler Hemi NHRA Pro Mod engine. My name is Greg Jones and I'm the managing editor of Engine Builder Magazine and welcome to another episode of Engine of the Week. This video is sponsored by Cometic Gasket, sealed by Cometic, and by Pengrade Oil. Precision, performance, Pengrade. Always the original green oil. Carl Stevens Jr. may love to race, but he loves engine building as well. And he does so in his Newton, New Jersey shop called Extreme Racing Engines. The shop started in 2005 building race cars, but changed gears to work on engines exclusively in 2010. Today, Extreme Racing Engines focuses almost entirely on fuel-injected, turbocharged engines like this NHRA Pro Mod engine. Here's Stevens himself to tell you more. The basic platform for one of these deals is a uh, 4470 bore. It's a 4150 stroke, and it's all based off of like an actual Chrysler Hemi, but it's billet. It's got a 65 millimeter tool steel camshaft. One inch key Jessa lifters is pretty much you know standard on pretty much everything we put together. Extreme gets its blocks and heads done to exact specifications through a private label deal with Noonan Race Engineering, which is based in Australia. The Pro Mod engine also features diamond gas ported pistons, a total seal ring package, Trend TP1 wrist pins and push rods, GRP connecting rods, a Bryant crankshaft, a bullet camshaft, Clevite bearings, Manton rocker arms, Manly intake and exhaust valves, PSI springs, and Victory retainers and locks to finish out assembling the heads. Stevens relies on Auto Verdi, a company in Sweden, to build a billet dry sump pan that houses a seven stage dry sump pump that bolts to the engine. The NHRA Pro Mod engine, like most engines coming out of Extreme, gets fitted with MoTeC fuel injection and billet atomizer fuel injectors, as well as 88 millimeter Garrett turbos. Generally, um, on the NHRA combination, these deals will be uh, about 12 to 1 compression ratio, and it'll make between 32 and 3,300 horsepower. And that's really solely because of uh, the turbo size and boost pressure that we're limited to. Basically, you take the same engine and just, you know, strap on a larger set of turbochargers, and now you have an engine that's capable of making 5,000 horsepower. So, it's, it, like I said, it's really more limited by how much air we can stuff in it, not really by any of the components that are on it. Limits or no limits, Carl Stevens Jr. knows how to build race-winning engines. Just ask his customers, or better yet, refer to his most recent bank statement. Well, that does it for this episode of Engine of the Week. A special thanks goes out to Cometic Gasket and Pengrade Motor Oil. And remember, if you'd like to see an engine featured, please email me at gjones at babcox.com. See you all next time.